Yo, what is going on guys, this is the Ecom Boss and in today's video, I have a step-by-step -step strategy on how you can catch a trend or find a winning product using the Facebook feed to your advantage. So, I know there's a lot of people that have a limited budget and cannot test too many products or gotta be careful what they test. Well, don't worry if you're one of those guys, I got you in today's video. This is how you can test products with a super high success rate and, you know, just turn it into a massive profit. Usually, people will be testing products for ages, right, without any success. You guys probably heard before someone say like, yo, I tested 50 products without any success, what am I doing wrong? But the thing is, if you use my facebook strategy now that i will give you guys step by step from step number one to step number five you will have a super high chance of hitting a winning product and if you have data you know that will obviously be an advantage but it's going to work out for everyone so i'm the econ boss i don't want to waste any time let's get into step number one on how to do this and please just follow through with the whole video because i promise you guys it is going to change your life so if you guys smash the thumbs up here and that you subscribe still i'm out here in cabo mexico tomorrow i'm going to a new place so if you just stay on the channel i guess you will see where i am going so if you want to get into the dropshipping coaching program i'm currently getting in more people for a little bit cheaper so you can message me on instagram here it's been a huge success so far and honestly i just want to take 100 people to success this year but without further ado let's get into the video i promise you guys i'm not gonna waste any time so step number one is you're browsing facebook to find products right you're browsing down the facebook feed and there's going to be a lot of extensions or what's called softwares that you can use to find winning products easier but honestly i recommend you guys to just scroll the basic and normal way the organic way because the thing is what you click on is what you get this honestly brings us back to the aliexpress strategy i've shown you guys earlier is what you click on is what you get so if you scroll the facebook feed and you start clicking on a lot of drop shipping products let's just say you start clicking on a lot of blackhead removers that is clearly aliexpress product you will start to see more drop shipping products so step number two then is obviously once you've gotten into it you start scrolling the pages is to create a notepad and guys this might sound weird this might sound like we're back to start but listen up i do this myself and this is what i teach my students and they are having a lot of success okay so step number two is setting up a list i want you to set up a notepad or something like that where you will be adding in let's just say 20 links to start off so in one day you find 20 products on Facebook and 20 links. What I want you to do with those links is to link number one, you note down the link and then besides the link, you note down the engagement like 5,000 likes or you note down for example 100,000 views. Then you do that on every product until you have 20 products and then the next day you will now know how many views the product had like let's say on Thursday and sorry I spilled sunscreen all over my pants if you guys could see it. I don't know if you can see it. You will now know the engagement or the views on the product from for example let's say it's Thursday when you come to Friday. You now you can see that this product now had 100,000 views. Well, today it has 300,000 views. It 3 x and the engagement has gone to the roof. Well, chances are someone is scaling it, right? Another thing I want you guys to pay attention to is how many people are selling it. I would honestly just sell a Facebook product if there's like three to five people selling it. I mean, if there's like seven to 10, it should be totally fine. But usually on a Facebook product, I would see if there's like, let's say three to five people selling it. If three people are selling it, one guy randomly, his engagement just went to the roof. I mean, don't get it wrong. He could always just run, you know, engagement ads to cheap countries. That might be a possibility, but you can't really think about that, to be honest. It's beautiful sitting here looking at the ocean so what you guys will see is that one product will for example double in engagement for the next day and then you got to jump on that one because on your document right let's just say you have 20 products there will be a couple of these products that you like more than the other ones or believe in more than the other ones but you need to go by the graphs right so let's just say you added a pillow to it right and it might just be the stupidest thing is a pillow you add a pillow to your notepad and it has 150,000 views and 5,000 likes the next day it has 400,000 views and 15,000 likes well you got to get on this product now quick like you really got to hurry up next thing step number three is you need to be better than your competitors and listen up guys you can do the aliexpress strategy reinventing the wheel i'll tell you guys in a second here like who's gonna succeed with which strategy for example me i will succeed with the ali strategy while you watching you might not have a chance whatsoever at the ali strategy i'll go into that in a second here but what you guys will see is that your competitors is let's just say for example running photo ads only and keep in mind guys i really like photo ads i mean i talked about this on my channel all the time but let's just say that your competitor is running photo ads how can you stand out how can you win well you could try to run a video video ad i'm not saying anything bad about photo ads i'm just using them as an example right so if your competitor i don't know if i said customer competitor but if your competitor are using one picture ad and that is it well you can use three picture ads and one video well you already stand out way more you can make the description better you can price yours a little bit lower but i don't think that it's going to matter because things i don't really feel like your customer is going to find the other dropshipping store selling it like if you want to order it cheaper you probably just go an alley but i want you guys to just make it different like if your competitor doesn't have custom made content and he still managed to get a lot of views he still managed to blow up with it well imagine what you could have done with custom made content but in some cases maybe the aliexpress picture is what's going to work that is the three first step the video is not over i'm going to drop more value here and at this point it's just going to be even more value so stick
equipment here. Step number one, go to Facebook, find 20 products. Step two, note it down in your notepad and see how it increases. Step three, do it better than your competitor. So you guys are wondering, why would you go for the Facebook strategy compared to my normal product research strategy on AliExpress? Well, my normal product research strategy on AliExpress with anti products and scrolling more to love section is a super good way to run products, but you will not know if it's trending. That is why I like this Facebook strategy because you will see if it's trending, right? Because you will see today two people are selling it. And by the way, guys, put this in your notepad as well. Put the, the case that's coming up now. So today, two people are running it. You note down, two people are running it. Next day, five people are running it. And the next day, 15 people are running it. You see, just the trend just blew up. That means you should have gotten on it when five people got on it, right? So the thing is here, guys, is like to try to catch a trend before it's even trending. So I need you guys to just analyze that and see two people are selling it. Next day, six people are selling it. Well, that's the sign. Get on it. And the views are doubling. So realize how many people are selling it and try to see the trend. Well, if it went from two to six today, what is it going to go to tomorrow? If it goes to 10, you will just be sitting there the next day without taking action and the product will just blow up and you never got a piece of it. So you need to act quick. But that is why I like this Facebook strategy more than the more to love normal AliExpress strategy. Not for me personally. I really like the Ali strategy. But for beginners, for example, or honestly advanced people too, because you will be able to see if it's actually trending. I mean, you will always see that on AliExpress too, but then you got to research if it's trending on Facebook. You will automatically know kind of. You will jump on a product that's proven to work, not saturated. It's just starting to trend. You catch the trend before it is a trend you will jump on the best product you could ever jump on so now you may ask who is the aliexpress strategy for it all and that aliexpress strategy is just you browsing ali and finding products make sure it's much like and subscribe well the aliexpress strategy is for people that has a good pixel you can pull this off without a good pixel too i mean this is how i started at drop shipping but the reason i'm telling you guys about this facebook strategy is because i've had some students who failed a couple of products and i was just telling them like do you want the easy way to drop ship and uh, they said yeah so i just get into facebook strategy this thing works like it could have a one in two success rate at some points but the aliexpress strategy i really recommend running it if you have the data like you gotta have a good pixel because look at this guys i've told you guys this a couple of times before but if you run a blackhead remover and you make a lot of sales with the blackhead remover chances are you could run an acne remover and make just as many sales right so when that blackhead remover dies out well you can just run up an acne remover because you got the ad account for it you got the pixel for it and it's kind of the same audience so you will have that advantage so listen guys this is how the facebook trend thing gets so powerful you could steal any product if you have the data. Because listen, if acne remover is now, we just use acne as an example. If acne remover is now starting to trend, there's like three to five people selling it. Well, you might fail when you try to steal it. But if you run bigger budget, you spend a little bit more. Not necessarily, it's not something you have to do, but let's just look at it like this. If you spend a little bit more and you have the data on the product, like not in that product specifically, but you have data in that niche, you spend a little bit more money than your competitor and you get custom made content, you're going to win almost 10 out of 10 times. But I know a lot of you guys don't have the data, no problem whatsoever because you still just run with the Facebook strategy. But I'm just saying, if you have data, you're gonna win. Like then it's actually becoming really easy. And that is honestly the way that dropshippers get rich. They have data, so they just run up a similar product. Another thing that you guys can do if you have data is when you see a product trending and you have, you know, data acne remover example again, you have somewhat similar data. You could honestly just run your past lookalike audiences, your email list, you know, your lookalike audience to test out the product without running cold interest. So once you start introducing the interest, you've already made some sales off of the LLAs on that product, which now makes, you know, the interest a little bit warmer. Not the interest, but you know, the ad account or you know just targeting that product in general so that is what i recommend guys is a facebook strategy but if you were to do the aliexpress strategy you can totally pull it off but you will have to test a couple of more products but you will at least find your own product but i don't see a problem with three to five competitors running it whatsoever just jump on it at the right time because you never want to be the guy who sits there and did not jump on it and this is another thing you guys can do as well if the product is saturated they're not saturated but it's starting to trend you guys need to realize that if you're running once again acne remover chances are your competitors are probably targeting interests such as skincare healthcare, acne, blackheads. Well, if your competitors are targeting those with their custom-made content, then you're probably not going to outwork them. But if you run some interest that does not relate too much to the product, the camera just died, so I don't remember exactly what I said there. But guys, you need to realize this one thing as well is, you know, now we're talking about all the technical stuff, like being better when it comes to the videos, pictures, standing out. Standing out is super important. And the interest you choose, I'll go over the interest part one more time though. So if someone else is using a specific interest, you know which interest they're targeting, because it's pretty obvious what your competitor most likely is targeting on a product that is kind of saturated or trending. You need to run the interest they're not running, right? So as I told you guys earlier in a couple of other videos, I've used the interest family for a lot of healthcare products. I used childcare for a healthcare product because most likely, if they care about childs, they care about their health too. It just makes sense to me. Those interests really were good. But one thing I wanted to say, guys, after you press the thumbs up button, please just be nice and support me by smashing the like and subscribing. Last time I say, please smash the like, subscribe. 
whatever. The one thing I wanted to tell you guys is this also comes down to work. Like for real, I'm, I'm not going to spit too much motivation in this video. It's not a motivational video. But if you guys want to work out your competitors, you cannot do that by wasting your time. You cannot set up a description for five minutes and then you just go back to playing video games and not launching it or just delaying. That would be like an investor who sees an opportunity and never jumps on it and talk about the investment he could have made and never made the investment. So you guys need to realize this, right? So whenever you see something trending, you need to make the product page, find the product, run it up instantly. You cannot be wasting your time of being lazy about it because this is your secret that you're learning inside of my channel. This is your secret to really outwork people and win. So whenever you see something trending, jump on it. Just don't waste your time because the opportunity is so huge. And if you're just going to sit there and watch the opportunity go by, it really would be sad. It also comes down to guys putting in the work. Like if you work 30 minutes twice a week, you're probably not going to make it work. I'm not saying that you have to put in the work for like 16 hour days. That's totally not needed at all. I, I never did that myself personally either. I mean, I did it over multiple businesses, but not in dropshipping. I'm just saying that when you act, you really act and stay consistent, stay on it. Don't prioritize anything before it. Stay on the dropshipping, but don't spend 16 hours on it if you don't need to. But make sure you do your task that you're not lazy because your competitor, he might come from the worst background ever. Like he wants, he might want to do everything to put his family in the best position. He might be working 18 hours a day and sleeping in classes and just ditching school because everything he wants to succeed with dropshipping to help his family again. Those are the people that could be your competitors. I could be your competitors. Me two years ago could be your competitors. And I'll tell you, me two years ago, I would probably outwork a lot of people, right? And I'm not saying that in an arrogant way whatsoever, but those are the guys you're going up against, right? So make sure you're putting in the work and that you're not passing on opportunities multiple times. And also guys, don't spend all your time making the perfect story, the perfect description. When it comes to acting here is you researching the products every day. Every morning you analyze it, you see how the reach has been going up. You see how the views are going up, the engagement. You analyze it every single morning and you always spend your time on more product research, but you don't spend hours and hours creating your product pages or making excuses about your store. Make a store. It doesn't have to be perfect. Obviously, your store should be good. It should be super nice, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Your product page does not have to be perfect either. What matters is your creatives, how you run your Facebook ads, and if you're finding the right products. So spend your time wisely, guys. I totally believe in you. And for real, I don't know what you think about this strategy, but I can promise you guys, if this really works, like this is the secret, I honestly almost wouldn't tell it either. But this is the secret. If you act on this Facebook strategy, you could change your whole life. So that is it, guys. I hope you smash the thumbs up and that you subscribe. I appreciate you guys so much and just be the best version of yourself, guys. I'm finally back on YouTube for a long time now. I'm gonna upload vlogs. Vlogs is gonna come dropshipping vlogs. You're gonna have such a good time here in Mexico. I'll bring you guys with me while I travel the whole world. And you guys can guess in the comments where am I going next. So that is it, guys. I'll see you in the next video.